I'm going to show you how to set up multiple email signatures so that you can send an email to students, to parents, to colleagues with a different signature at the bottom. So sometimes you want different information to show for parents than maybe you do for students. So it's really simple to do. All you need to do is go to Gmail and then go up to your gear in the top right, up to your settings gear, click on see all settings. On the screen, when you scroll most of the way down, about three quarters of the way down, you will see signature. Now you can see I have three of them set up. So my basic signature just has my name and a phone number, my job description. My full signature is what I use um, normally with everybody that I work with in my district. And then an out of district one. Now the difference would be like in my district, I allow people to book time with me using a Calendly link. Out of district takes that Calendly link away and just adds my portfolio information. That way people outside of my district aren't booking me. So depending on my audience depends on which signature I choose to use. So it's really easy to do. All you have to do is click this create new button. It'll ask you to name it. I'll just call this my demo signature. Click the create button. And then on this right hand side over here is when you will now create it. So maybe I can just say Jeremy Badner. And you could put any of your branding here or whatever you want. You can insert pictures and images. And I also have um, a document on my blog on how to make creative signatures with images. So if you need that, that's available as well. So once you've got your new signature created, and you can see it's called demo signature here, you can also set which is your default. So for all my new emails, I use my full signature and which ones I want to reply with. I could change it to any one of those that I want to use. So maybe I wanted my demo signature to be the one that I want to use all the time. But I'm going to keep that as full signature. So when you're done, you've got your signatures listed here. You scroll to the bottom, hit Save Changes. And now when I go to Compose and I create a brand new email, Whatever my default signature is, is there. But that doesn't mean I have to stick with it. So as I'm writing my email, I can go down here to this little pencil icon. And when I click that, it says, which signature do you want to use? And here's that demo one that I just created. Maybe I want to use my no signature, take everything away. Or maybe my basic one with just my name. So what it makes it easy to do is include information you need, to the right audience. So you can choose whichever signature you want, and then when I send, it will go with that signature. It's as easy as that.